how you doing? First thing you're going to do when you get your Oscar 60 is you're going to get your track in place and you're going to level it. And in this particular case, you're going to bolt your two sections together. Very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to bring your two sections here, bring them together, and we've got these little ears welded on, three quarter inch bolts, and just bring them together. There's two on this side and two on this side for a total of four. When you're getting ready to do the leveling of the track after you've bolted it together, we've installed these levelers here that are inch and three eighths nut. Just a real easy way is with an impact gun, drive it up and down, and that is a really quick way to find your level and very helpful to you. So here, these yellow tabs, these are called track stops. And what you're gonna do is with your two three quarter inch bolt, uh, bolt and nut, you're gonna just install them on either side and on both ends. And all these are for is just a simple safety feature. It just keeps your mill from running off the track and having a catastrophe. So make sure you install those when you get your mill. So what we're gonna do first is, if you can picture yourself, you're gonna be loading your big log uh, onto your track. One thing I don't like to see is people using the backstops to catch the log. So if you're dropping your log on, try not to use your backstops to roll the log against. What we have here is we have some two and a half inch pockets. What I like to do is I'll get myself some steel that'll fit inside of there. And I'll drop the steel right down inside of that. There's one here. They're located on every section. So however long your log is, you can get one for each section. Drop your dogs down. And then when you roll your log, you're rolling it against that thick, heavy steel, and that'll really save you a lot of wear and tear on your sawmill, especially on the dogs. Uh, so that's something I really wanted to touch on there. Um, moving forward, once you get your log onto your track, the next thing you're going to want to do is bring your backstop and your dog up, slide your log tight to your backstop, then you would move your dog in and clamp it against the backstop. Now your log is locked in place and it's permanent. Next we're going to start, we're going to go up to the mill and we're going to talk about the mill and get net situated and ready for saw milling. Alright, so here I have my master control. At the end of the day when I'm done milling, I want to shut this off. It kills all the power to the whole unit. Here I have my ignition. I got my winch up and down, just a rocker switch. My blade on off and my throttle on off. Up here I have my power feed. I have forward, neutral, reverse and my speed control is here. Very simple to operate, very operator friendly. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do a quick blade change. Uh, first thing I did is I took my inch and three eighths and I took all the tension off the blade so the blade is real loose. Next thing I did is I took my 9 16 and I loosened up one, two, and three nuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take those right off. The trick I've always done is I take my wrench and I just like to stick it in there and give it a little pop and that's all it needs. Just to get it loose, take your guard off, just take my take the blade off the, off the main wheel, just like so. And I would do the same on the other side, pull it out of the guides, and I'm ready to put my new blade on. So then after you rewind the band wheels, you reinstall the band blade, you want to have your band blade hanging off about an eighth of an inch off the back of the wheel being that it's an inch and a half band. Make sure before you tension your blade that your blade is in your guides here. Spin your wheels by hand. Approximately three revolutions of the wheel. And then you want to check just to make sure that you have about the same 
paint off the back of the wheel as you do the front. Okay, we should be good. The weight is out of a line, so your band is riding back too far on the wheel you would move your front bearing forward, which would in turn make the blade move back on the wheel. If your blade was riding the opposite way, you would move this bearing forward, which would in turn bring the blade this way. Drive belt tension, you always wanna keep your drive belts tight. This has two tensioners on this particular unit. The top tensioner is this pulley here. You would loosen this nut and apply force downward on the belt to take slack out. The second pulley is here. You would pick that pulley up to take tension out of the belt. To tension the power feed chain, you would loosen this idler sprocket here and slide the idler sprocket this way. That will put tension on your power feed chain. 